What's going on, my people? Back with another video. I'm going to call this the Bully Origins. And uh, <clears throat> it's pretty much my blues. We're going to talk about my blues, but, you know, this is an introductory video to the blues because these are like my first two blue bully type bloodline that I can talk about paperwork and everything we're gonna get into it but this is gonna be quick just an introductory to get your mouth watering a little bit and you know try to make it five to six seven minutes or something like that because if you look on the YouTube thing that's about the average time that most people look at videos on my stuff or whatever for whatever reason that's the average of course everybody some people look at it the whole thing due to people that want real information and you know trying to know and other people they just you know just want to look at a little bit and Go look at something else to entertain them. People don't care about information as much as some people. It just depends on who you are. And like I said, each his own. And first off, I want to put a disclaimer. I ain't talking about no bullies like y'all shouldn't give them or none of that. You buy what you want to buy. You'll never hear me ever tell you not to buy certain dogs. I'm going to tell you what I'm into and what I like and why I like it. I ain't going to tell you what you should do. That's your money and what you can do. And you know your area, neighborhood. And if you can handle real dogs and all that. You know, everybody got their own opinions. Some people want a, a little lazy dog that can just chill and love on or whatever. I mean, if that's what you're into, that's fine. Some people want working dogs. You know what I'm saying? Now, my thing is, is this is going on in the world. See what I'm saying? War, stuff like that. The world is crazy. You ask yourself what type of help you want when it's go time, you know, and that's why we into... Stuff like this, you're going to want working dogs in the world that's crazy and stuff like that. So that's all I can tell you. You put two and two together and you get into what you're into. But anyway, you know, there ain't no disclosure. Y'all buy what y'all want to buy. I got plenty of boys that's, that's messed with these bullies, close friends, family, all that. And I ain't trying to mess up their business. If that what they into, y'all buy them all up and, you know, do what you want to do. You know, I mean, you know. I ain't talking bad about them or nothing. You know, just do your research and pick what worked best for you and your personality and what you into. But this is just the audience. I'm about information. So I'm I'm giving information and you take with it what you want. And all y'all bully people that's more into bullies than me, if you feel like uh commenting and put fixing some information up that I don't may don't know, hey, they, they they feel free. I don't know everything, but I can tell you what I do know because I got paperwork and I've been messing with dogs and these dogs right here specifically for about twenty years. So, I mean, I got some, the bullies weren't around 20 years ago. If y'all don't understand, if y'all didn't understand, I mean, it, 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 it's the bullies is a new thing. So this blood right here I've been feeding is what made some of the bully stuff. Not all of it, but most of it. And maybe all of it, I mean, for all I know, I ain't into it like that, but I can tell you what I know. So anyway, the best way to describe it is to start off with it, uh, you know, give you an example. All right. Now, a lot of people know Mr. Miyagi. That's a famous bully dog in the bully camp. You know what I'm saying? This is a perfect example on what I'm trying to show y'all on how these bullies made and everything. All right. You see, Blue, he got the nice little look if you into the bullies and all that stuff. That's fine, whatever. I mean, you know, they, they made a lot of money, making a lot of money off that stuff, and people like it. So, whatever y'all into. All right, so <clears throat> if you look at how he breed, this is going to make sense for y'all, and then I'm going to get into my dogs, but I'm just going to show y'all this as an introductory so you can understand when I start, when you start looking at my dogs, that you'll see the stuff that made these dogs in my dogs, and, you know, whatever the part of that they're going to show you anyway, and you'll kind of grasp it, okay? So now when you look at this dog, you see Marcelo is the sire, bully camps, La Madrina is the is the mama, so you can just look at them and see this bully stuff. Okay, see. Now you look at the pedigree; they got the bottom unknown, so you don't know what it is. But it could be the same thing that this top is, but we don't know. So leave it like that. There, you got all your papers. They don't want to tell you whatever. But this top side is inbred off Gotti stuff. You see. Gotti lines, all that guy, that's all Gotti stuff. And you want to click it, and you can see. 
And if y'all been watching my videos, y'all know how to read pedigrees by now. If you don't, then I don't know what, why you wouldn't. But there you can see. Gotti, Gotti, Gotti. It's all inbred off Gotti stuff and Razor's Edge stuff. You see what I'm saying? This is what makes these dogs. Okay, so I want y'all to see that. So when y'all go through my dogs and y'all see the stuff, you can say, oh, this guy probably know what he's talking about. He been feeding it. Okay, so you're going to see some of these dogs and some other dogs that's making some of these bully dogs in my dog's pedigree. You know? So that's basically what you can see is inbred off of. And that's the daddy. And the bottom, they don't show you, but... You can see, it's the same thing on the mob. They took a half-brother and sister breeding to make Miyagi. See? Same dog. Half-brother and sisters right here. So the bully camps, La Madrina. See? More Gotti. See? That's all they did. Just like what I showed y'all in the pedigrees and all that. This is how these bullies made. Okay? Inbred heavily. Off the Gotti stuff. Notorious John Gotti, Juan Gotti, whatever you want. I just call it Gotti. That's all they did, man. That's, that's what it is. So. Why am I telling you this? Just so you'll understand when I start going through my dogs, because you're going to see some of this, some of this stuff, but you're going to see the way you can breed it one way or you can breed it another way, depending on what you're looking for, what y'all into. See, legend? Got it. See? Just inbred like crazy. All right. Now. That's what I just want to show y'all. The facts. The information. Uh, if y'all butthurt or whatever. Or y'all bully fans or whatever. I don't know what. I mean, the information is information. Don't, don't, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just showing y'all the stuff. And it's, I ain't, can't show y'all the bullies because I ain't into all the bullies. And I don't know how they bred. And a lot of that stuff say unknown. But I'm just going to tell you. It's coming from stuff that I'm about to go over in these blues. Most of it. Probably, if not 90% of it, maybe more. Who knows? I ain't into it like that. Y'all bully people, if y'all see something, chime in. <clears throat> you know. Okay. So now, why am I showing you this? Let's just give you an example on Raven. And I'm going to end it here. And I'll start the videos later. I just want to give y'all something to introduction. Raven, all right? This is my female dog. See how she bred? What'd you see? Gotti. Fourth generation now. Is that close enough for y'all? Gotti's sons and daughters is in well yeah, two 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 sons. Or a daughter right there. Zeus Blue Good. Well that's a let me see here. Yeah, that's a son too, yeah. So a son right there, third generation. A son right there, Pit Styles Blue Passion, third generation. That close enough for y'all to be talking about it. I mean, I don't know. Y'all always want to get up here. It's so, so ain't that close and all this and that. Maybe this close enough for y'all. I don't know. All right. So heavy guidey right there. It's got a little razor's edge in here too, but we're going to go do it later. I just want to show y'all. And does she look like a bully to y'all? Because it depends on how you take it. This is Raven. This is the one that 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 her and her and uh, BB used to go at it. Got stories for that that ain't it for the internet. All right, but that's a little bit how she bred. We're gonna break down her pedigree too. And then, last but not least, before we get out of here, Blue Funk's vodka. Williams. 
Look at him. Look at them teeth. You think that was a bulldog? Got some stories with him too. Ain't for the internet. See what you see, how he breathe. It's a quick rundown. We had 10 minutes, so we're going to end it soon. But, you, you know, what you see? Got him. See? Is that close enough for y'all? West Side's Capone, third generations. Razor's Edge, third generation. Daughter of Razor's Edge. Divine. Second generation. Is that close enough for y'all? Chaos Blue Painkiller, second generation. So... Y'all start when we start going through this, y'all gonna start seeing what some of this most of this bully stuff coming from, but you didn't I didn't go that way. I wanted to go my way to make my own type of dogs. You see what I mean? So that's what you do. If you want to go bully, go bully, that's fine. That's how you create them. I just showed you. You inbreed a certain thing like you, like they did it. What the little bit they're gonna show you anyway. And you know. If you got your papers, maybe you can see more or whatever, but I just want to give y'all the example. But see, even with that stuff, I still make them look like that. That's He-Man Jr. as a puppy. He grew up. He looked like that. Did that look like a bully to y'all? That's a bulldog right there. Look at the way he's chewing up on stuff out there. That look like that game dog, y'all. That ain't that how y'all game dogs chew up stuff. The people that got real dogs, y'all know what I'm talking about. Destructive. Mouth, mouth always locking and biting on something. Look at that stick over there he done destroyed. Teeth marks all through. Bulldog. Blue. Hurt y'all feelings if I was, you know. It's the internet. Now. Blue Funks, Vodka Williams, Raven Williams. You see what made him? Got all that gotti in there, the same way I showed y'all that gotti on the blues. But I took it another way. I made them like I wanted to make them. For the people in my clientele that want athletic working dogs. So it's all in, all in what you want. You know? So we're going to end it there. And uh, that's just something to get y'all mouth watered before I go and break down the pedigrees. And uh, we're going to start with a... Uh, Blue Funk's Vodka, my first one. We'll start with him. Break him down. And, uh, you know, for y'all people that's into the real dogs and everything and the classic, don't worry, we coming back. I got plenty more to break them down on, too. I got more pedigrees and more dogs to show you, so don't think I'm gone from the, the true game dogs and classic dogs. I ain't. I just got to add the blues in here, too, because I got some blue fans, and they want to know, and they want the information. And I'm going to give it to them. The truth out here. Maybe y'all can stop talking so stupid about blues ain't pit bulls and blues ain't game. And I mean, y'all sound crazy, man. Let people buy what they want to buy. Don't worry about what it is and what it ain't. If they got their papers and they got their information, that's what it is. Stop being so such haters. It's just a world full of hate, man, out here. Just mind your own business and do your own thing. Stop worrying about everybody else. And you got two eyes and two ears for a reason. And one mouth. That means you're supposed to listen and look twice as much as you talking. And most people talk more than they listen and learn and don't understand what's going on. Get in their feelings. And when you're in your feelings, that's a female trait. Emotions is a female trait. Heavy emotions. That's what that's how females act. Yeah, us men out here, we got to be men, old school men, and stop being so, you know, small-minded and open your mind and, and be willing to say, oh, okay, and I'm wrong or whatever, like, you know, I'm going on and on, but you know, I'm going to make another channel, too, about some real stuff because I'm on some other stuff besides dogs and stuff. I'm on some real life stuff, but I'm going to keep this basic into dogs. I'm going to make some other channels later, but yeah, I mean, that's how these bullies made, y'all, if y'all don't know. You just take it one way and it look a certain way. You take it another way, it'll look another way, but they, they can be pit bulls and they can be in that standard, too, if you breed them a certain way, the blues and everything. You know what I mean? Just depends on how you want to bleed, how you want to breed them, and make them. But uh, yeah, I'm at 14 minutes. I'm gonna end it here, and uh, we'll start on this pedigree and break him down on the next video. Peace.